Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to see how and when uh, to use Teams within Front. So just as a quick introduction, um, Front uh, as an account can contain many teams. So you can see a team as a distinct uh, workspace within Front. Each team can manage their own channels, can responses, tags, rules, uh, contact and analytics and do not have access to those of other teams. So the purpose of Teams is really to allow organization to have multiple front workspaces within one single account. Keep in mind that billing and SSO are unified across all teams and that integrations and plugins are not currently separated by teams. So if you allow uh, the Salesforce integration for your entire organization, it will be visible for every Teams uh, in it. So from a user perspective, how are a team working? So here I'm connected in the demo environment and let's imagine I'm in the customer success team only. Okay, you can belong to two teams if you want, but let's imagine I'm here in the customer success team. I'm gonna have access only to the messages and resources of this specific team. If you want to add more uh, silos in your organization and maybe you don't want the customer success managers to have um, a visibility and to be able to use the resources of the sales team so you can split into different teams and here in this case I won't be able to see the sales inbox, I won't be able to use the sales tag, the sales uh, rules, can responses and so on. So this is really like limits between uh, the different teams within the organization. From uh, an administration perspective, this is really important to have in mind uh, the different accesses. Regular users are only able to access to their own individual inbox, of course, and also to the shared inboxes of their team or teams if they belong to different teams. The admins here are really key. We have team admins and company admins. I'm going to start with the team admin. So the team admin can manage the resources within front, but for his team only. So if I'm a team admin for the customer success team, then I'm going to be able to invite teammates in my team only, connect inboxes in my team only and create rules, responses, signatures, tags, roles that will impact only my team. I cannot create anything for the sales team, for instance, or for any other team. The company admins are more uh, powerful, if I can say so. They can do anything they want. So basically, you might want uh, someone from your IT department to be company admin because the company admin will be able to manage um, the entire organization so all the teams all the teammates they can provision or delete users for everyone they can handle integrations uh, billing deliverability and so on but they can also create company rules that will impact not only one team but potentially every team in the organization to highlight here also uh, contacts and analytics, if you click here and access to the contacts, you're going to see that uh, we replicated the same organization. Each team has their own uh, contact base. So for privacy and confidentiality reasons, you might don't want uh, the contacts of one team to be shared with another team. So in this case, the team will help you once again to create silos between um, the contact databases. And in this case, the customer success contact uh, database won't be accessible by other teams. You have also an uh, 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 impact of the teams in the analytics because in the analytics you will only be able to create reports on your own team performance. You cannot see the performance of other teams and the other teams cannot see your performance. This also impacts business hours that you can create uh, to monitor only uh, what's happening during the business hours. It applies only to your team. So you cannot uh, set up business hours for other teams. And this is one of the reasons you might to want to use teams. If the sales team doesn't work on the same business hours than the support team, maybe, then you want to have two different teams and two different business hours uh, to uh, compute the data. Finally, Front is a collaboration tool. So having team doesn't mean that you cannot collaborate at all. Uh, if I'm customer success manager and I want someone from the sales team to help me, I can still 
at mention someone from the sales team. Let's take Pierre in this case. But if I add Pierre to the conversation here, Pierre will be able to see the content of this conversation, to see the previous messages and so on. Pierre will be able to reply to my comment, but Pierre won't be able to reply to the original message here from the team address. He will only be able to reply with his individual email address if he has connected to front. Please have in mind also that the tags are team resources. So if I have uh, one tag apply to the conversation here, and this is a customer success team tag, Pierre as a sales member won't be able to edit this tag, to delete it or to change anything here. I hope it was useful. Please ask your customer success manager if you have any other questions. Thank you.